Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll continue to learn about time in Pandas, and specifically, we'll look at time delta and look at operations of time delta, such as uh, subtraction from date time, offset time delta 64, and we'll also look at how we can shift the time delta values. Then we will look at how to find index of maximum value of time delta in a column of data frame, how to negate time delta values, then how to get descriptive statistical values such as mean, more, mean, median from time delta. And finally, we'll look at conversions of time delta into say, other values such as float values. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. Here I've already imported five libraries and these are the versions that I'm using in the Jupyter Notebook. So first, let's go ahead and create a date, uh, date range and create a series from that. So that's the series VA and then we have the PD.series and within this we have the date range and the date would be 2020-08-08-14 and we have the periods is equal to uh, let's keep it three and then frequency will leave day as the frequency and now we look at the series this is the series we have the data type is date time 64 now what we can do is perform different types of operations so first one we'll try is subtract our date time our date time dot date date time from this particular series so x is equal to date time we'll first create the object so date time dot date time and here let's say 2020 and this is year month uh, day and so on so we have 8 as the month and for day let's keep day as 13 now in the hour minute and second we'll leave it as 0 0 and 0 so that's the date time we have now how do we subtract we simply only need to type 8 minus x and that will give us the uh, output where this particular date time is subtracted from the series that we have so and the output is in time delta so the difference between uh, the days 14th and the 13th is one day and therefore we get a time delta value of one day and between 16 and 13 we have three days difference and that's the difference value we get in the output here we could also subtract x minus a and that will give us the time delta values uh, in that will be negative. Now let's look at uh, how to subtract an offset. For this uh, let's use the series same series a and here if you type pd dot offsets dot day uh, we have this particular uh, date time 64 created because our original series was this we subtracted one day and therefore instead of 14 15 16 we have 13 14 15 in the output let's try a little more involved uh, with two values so let's try a minus pd dot offsets and here let's uh, have one minute we are subtracting one minute and then mm, let's add another minute here so pd dot offsets dot seconds second without s and here we are adding one second so in the output as we can see we subtracted one minute so that's why we have this 59 here and we added one second and therefore we have this one right here and because this was a subtraction of one minute, the dates of, uh, have fallen back by one day. So instead of 14, 15, 16, we have 13, 14, 15 
in the output now let's look at another example where we can use time delta 64 itself so with time delta 64 and a second now here this could be any one value from the series that we already have such as this one and when we subtract it so let's say if we subtract a minus a zero so what we would expect also is that the first value would be zero because we are subtracting that value from itself and then we have one two so we if we subtract 14 from let's go uh, let me pull the series a here so if we subtract 14 from 14 we get zero and then we get differences one and two days from the 14th next let's see how we can shift so using shift here if we type a, a dot shift and we shift it by one what we are doing is we are moving the values within the series keeping the same index by one so we're moving it down and had we used minus one we would shift it up by one and so not a time init is placed at the last column but let's go ahead and use plus one so the nat would be placed in the very first uh, row or very first position at index zero now if we subtract this series from our original series so if we subtract a minus a dot shift one we would expect that the first value because it's NAT in one of those series it would be NAT in the output and then for the remaining two because we shifted by one uh, and we had these values 14 15 16 now we have 14 minus 15 and 16 minus 15 so we have a difference of one day in the output here uh, now uh, if we if we were to try and um, uh, change a value within that uh, data uh, within the series that we have let's say if we put this in a variable x and run that now if we wanted to we could change value in this series again let's say at index position one where we have one days right now we could change that and replace that by np.nan and now if we look at x what we get is a value of nat in that particular position where it earlier was one day so those were the couple of operations we could perform using uh, the uh, shift and subtract operations now what we can also do is create a data frame and for that let's say if we create a data frame df is equal to pd dot data frame and in here for a column a we'll use the series and that is a and then column we'll go ahead and add column uh, which is the difference between these two so let's say we add x and this would be x and now if you look at df we have we need a comma there so that's uh, the data frame we have now if you look at the d type uh, sorry d types we see that a is date time 64 whereas x is uh, time delta 64 and had we not to use this so let's go back run this and instead of uh, np.nn now let's go ahead and add a value there so pd dot time delta let's add five days five days there so that's the new value now if we create a data frame with that value uh, we have a new uh, five days within the column x the object there is to use id max function to find out the max value from that column so here if we now use that column df of x 
and find the idx max then what we get is the index for that row which has a maximum value so the 5 is max and therefore the index is 1 and that's what we get here in the output moving on let's look at how we can use uh, minus how we can negate the time delta values so why don't we create a value x is equal to pd dot time delta and let's create a value of one hour and print it so that's the value now what we are going to do is sub uh, negate that value so we have seen this in a previous video as well so if we type minus one into x that will create a negative value of time delta and if we use if we take the absolute of that so let's say absolute of minus one into x then in the output we get a positive value of the time delta as uh, we can see here now moving on let's look at how we can perform reduction operations and get some of the statistical values from our time delta so this is statistics and for this we'll create a new series so x is equal to pd dot series and here we'll have a bunch of time delta inside it so the first one pd dot time delta and let me go ahead and copy this so i don't have to type it and within this let's say the first one is one days and 10 minute then the next one is one minute and then the following one here we can go ahead and add nat and then after this let's add 10 day 10 days and zero minute and the last one let's go ahead and add 10 days and again zero minute so that's the series we have created uh, there's an error index must be called with a collection some kind of time delta values um, zero zero was passed so let's look at the reason why that is the case is because we need to put all of these in a list so now when we run this we have this series and if we look at the type of x it's a series so we have time delta values we also have one a, a not a time value now to get the statistics out of this it's uh, very straightforward as we have seen before with non time values so here we to get a mean to get a mean we would type x dot mean and thus we get a mean value of this particular time delta values we have uh, similar to mean we can get median and for that we would type x dot median median and that's the median value and can also get quantile so let's try that x dot quantile 0 0.5 and this would be similar to median because we have used 0 0.5 and so let's look at sum x dot sum so here we have sum of all the time delta values in x so sum of all of these and now moving on let's look at how we can do uh, frequency conversions with time delta so for example how do we get float values out of time delta so for this we'll go ahead and create two series so first series is a pd dot series and for this we'll again use date range so date underscore range and here the date could be 2020 as 08 dash 1 let's say 14 or 13 and 
we leave the hours minutes periods is equal to three and then we have frequency is equal to day so that's our series a now i'm going to go ahead and copy this and create another series b where the date is changed to 16 rest of it stays the same and we'll print the b so what we are going to try to do is if we subtract the series a from series b what we are doing is we are subtracting the dates from a and b so let me try x is equal to a minus b and if you look at x what we get in the output here is a time delta as you would expect and it is negative because and the values in B are greater because we have date 16, 17 and 18. So that's how we can uh, say we converted the dates to the time delta values in this case. Now, if we pick just one value, so let's say if we pick uh, one value from this, so we have X, Let's go ahead and first make this positive. I'm going to change this a b minus a. So now we have three in all of them. If we take the value one, which is uh, three days, and if we try to compare it, so if we use x comma one, we are going to change this now. So date time dot date date time dot time delta and minutes is equal to one. So that we are going to add a minute there. Now, if we look at X, we have, so let me change run this again, X, so we run that. So now we added um, one minute to this second position where we now have three days and one minute. We can also go ahead and add in position number two np dot nan now if you look at x we also have a nat introduced in there so those are different ways in which you can uh, update values uh, within uh, a series that's a, that has time delta 64 values now if we take that particular series and divide it by np dot time delta 64 and here if we use one day in the out time time delta 64 now in the output what we get is a converted value to float so we no longer have a time delta values we have converted it to a float and because we divided by one day we didn't actually change anything apart from changing just the uh, value within it so the day says the same we have three days and this minute part has now changed and we have on the decimal values there and therefore it's float 64 that was it for this video i hope in this video you learn how to use the time delta values to kind of uh, do calculations additions subtractions how to create negative time delta values and then how to convert the time delta values into float values by uh, operation that we just saw which was by division we'll continue this discussion in next two videos uh, where we'll look at some other uh, calculations we could do using time delta until then please like share subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you